This is Spartans on the Clock. Today, we have the pleasure of being with Miss Tavares Taylor. How are you doing, Miss Taylor? I'm doing great. Hey, Miss Taylor. Hey, Hope. All right. So, go ahead and tell us, you know, uh, your NSU journey. Well, good afternoon. I guess my NSU journey started back in 19... Here we go. 1993. (laughs) Take us there. Here we go. I know before some of you were actually born or even thought about... Um, But I was coming from uh, Chesapeake, Virginia, uh, from Western Branch High School with a band scholarship here at North State University, the mighty Spartan Legion Band. Okay. Our mighty. Our mighty. mighty. And from that point, it migrated um, when it was time to do a couple of things at one time. My way shifted a little bit. Then I became a part of the Hot Ice um, dance core in the band. So come on, dance I came, core. I, right here we go. We gotta make the words sound right. <laughs> um, again, uh, just coming from a school that folks did not look like me to a school where everybody looked like me was a right. big transition. So initially, when I came to Norfolk State to play an instrument, like I said, it kind of shifted and to dance, march, and play all mm. at the same time. Mm-hmm was interesting. Mm -hmm. So I became a hot ice dancer um, with the marching band season and then with the wind ensemble and concert band, then I was able to play my instrument during that time. So, so we had double that. trouble over there. Hey, baby, mm-hmm. hey, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Because I know as a dancer, everyone always asks, what, what instrument do you play? Which you actually did I both. actually play, right. And sometimes you don't run into a lot of dancers that actually play instruments. So I, I came to Nova State playing several instruments. That wow. is correct. As a dancer myself, they always ask, what instrument do you play? And I say, oh, I, these feet. Right, 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 right. <laughs> so I said, I had <laughs> instruments and other instruments there you go. that I use. All right. But that yes. was yeah. how I was able to walk across. Across this campus. Okay. Well, I should dance across or march across this campus. <laughs> and play. And you play. Know. Right, 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 right. Oh. That part. So, oh. what made you choose Norfolk State? Or did Norfolk State choose you? I would say, you know, back in the 90s when you don't, you know, you're in the school and there are not a lot of people there that push you, you know, to continue your education other than your family. Mm -hmm. Um, My options were very few because at that time I just didn't know what to do, you know. Um, But I have a lot of uh, family members um, that walked across this campus as well. So, therefore, there was no other option, you Mm -hmm. know, as far as the family was concerned. But, again, I chose Norfolk State, and as you said, it Yes, North State chose me as well because I wouldn't have had it any other way. See? Right. And that's how you know you're a true Spartan. Absolutely. Hey, true Spartan. True. Through and through. Mm. Bleed that green and gold. Oh, come on okay. now. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then the other color that actually just is a part of my soul as well mm. um, is crimson and cream. Oh. So, hey, well. Okay. It is what it is. It is what it, it is. It is what it is. Got the hairs on my head. Right. Yeah, hey, hey. Oh, sick enough. There you go. And that was in spring 95. Come on, spring, spring 95. 95. Epsilon Theta, spring 95. Delta so Ghost Platinum. Five number 20. <laughs> right, right, right. Oh, okay, five. Well, number 20. Hey. Number 20. <laughs> Black coffee, no sugar, no cream. Okay, hey. so that was... Uh, we're going to leave that right there. Right, right, right. right. Sometimes right you got to have people just down with your team. So. Mm. If you know, you know. <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> if you know. So reflecting on your time at NSU, okay. what were some of your most impactful experiences at a, as a student? My most impactful impactful experience as a student alongside of becoming a part of just the best band there is in the United States, in the country, mm. um, in the world. Um, I would just say being, feeling like I'm a part of a family away from my family. Right. Um, when you're a child that's 17, 18 years old and you're coming to a place that you know, you don't have that mom or that dad checking up on you and you're here by yourself, but yet you have additional, you know, parenting figures like your instructors. Mm -hmm. Um, That was just an amazing thing for me because even though my mom and dad weren't physically here with me, Mm -hmm. but I still had another team that said, uh, you make sure you get that in on time. Okay. Um, You make sure you type that paper over because back then we had to actually go to the computer lab where you had to stand in a line and, you know, you had to actual floppy disk that actually moves. Oh, the floppy, though. Right, the floppy. Hey, yes, the floppy. Can we a moment for that? Right, hey, hey, back. break it down <laughs> to you. And when you type your paper, I don't know if someone out in Spartan Land, if that paper was left in your car, 
uh, you had to retype that paper because at that point it, it was just it, it did something. Mm. Because, it was really right. It was it was gone. You didn't have no right. cloud. You, like, right. There wasn't that. a cloud. No, 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 no. It wasn't a cloud. So, yeah. um, like I said, you said that memorable experience was just having being feeling like I was still a part of a family. I was away from my family. Right. So that's something I would never ever take away and never forget that I still had support even though I was away from home, but not that far, but away from home. Right. That's that's pretty good. So, um, how did your involvement in campus organizations and activities influence your current career or personal development? Because you said you're in the band, you're in Delta, you know, this and that, this, that, and the third. Sometimes being a leader, you don't have to be in front. Okay, Mm. because someone once said leaders carry the water, Mm. and just to be the one, because I've always the one that was behind the scenes, but still doing the work, doing the service. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um, that helped to cultivate me to the person I am today. Because even at the grand age of what I am. 35. I, baby. You got five on it. Yeah, I do, it <laughs> add a zero to it. <laughs> but um, it, it just, you know, again, caused me to being in certain leadership roles you don't always have to be the frontline person Mm -hmm. you don't always have to be the person that's in front of everyone Mm -hmm. the people with the boots on the ground are the people that work behind the scenes and they make sure that the job the (laughs) the people with the boots on the ground are the people that work behind the scenes they make sure that the job gets done Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that's something I've always have done even to now 2024 I make sure that the job gets done Mm -hmm. regardless of if my name is, is across the front or if I'm involved with it I'm going to give it 110 percent and that's something that Norfolk State instilled in me and part being a part of the Spartan Legion you have to see it through mm-hmm. regardless of what's through. going on you see yes. it through mm-hmm. and I teach my students that and I teach my own children that you see it through regardless of what's happening you see it through you finish it out definitely I can attest to that you know with whatever circumstance you're in especially on campus you may be dealing with so many different external factors and internal factors Mm -hmm. that the biggest goal is I need to see it through. See it through. Mm -hmm. And that's the great thing about, of course, the marching Spartan Legion is, like she said, we are trained to see it through from the tweet tweet to the clack boom. Right, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Start to finish. And even if you have some bumps along the way, you still complete the task. Because you're going to have some bumps. Oh, you're going to have some bumps. (laughs) (laughs) But if you slip and slide or fall, you're going to have a Spartan to catch you. Absolutely. And then you get back up and you kill it after that. Period. Okay. And don't forget that what hit the 90s because when the the real boots is on the ground, there you go. Right, 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 right. right. It's time to go. We got it. Y'all got that out there? I think y'all do. <laughs> Sound like I'm talking to two. Hey, well, if you know, you know. If you know, you know. You know. <laughs> Sounds like I'm talking to two members of the band. Oh, no, no, no. The, oh, the oh, band. You know, band. excuse me. Informally, sorry. The okay. best band. Right, right. The marching Spartan Legion. Legion. Absolutely. A.K.A. best band in the land. Right. Respect on that name. Definitely an honor. Excuse me for the language barrier. Well, we welcome you. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, I, I was on the sidelines as a Spartan Cavalry member. Okay. We know the chants, you know, the OG chants okay, and everything. Talk to that's him. why, you know, OG talk to that's him. why we say glad to oh, see you I have- again. Mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. haven't seen you since mm-hmm. I don't know mm-hmm. when. Hey. And we say we are the Spartan Cavalry. Okay. And we are the best okay. bands in the land. <laughs> in the <laughs> land. It's that call and response kind of thing. That call and response. It's your soul. 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 And I'm excited Absolutely. to get to sing that next week. Oh, Hello. Man. Hello. Hello. So if you don't have your tickets to come to the land of Sparta for not your typical homecoming. Hello. Mm-hmm. You don't want to miss out. New brand, baby. Absolutely. New brand. Yeah. Absolutely. So, you know, we talk about our experiences on campus. Mm-hmm. Um, when it comes to, you know, do you believe that it's so important to give back Absolutely. in a financial means? Absolutely. Absolutely. Because even for myself, just giving a little uh, some transparency, um, my parents didn't have a college fund. 
So therefore, it, it, it took a lot of um, tenacity on my part to try to obtain scholarships, um, mm. writing essays and things of that nature. So I, I, I say this, if, you, if I can make it a little bit easier for a Spartan, mm-hmm. then I'm going to do what I have to do. Because if I pulled everything away from me that Norfolk State has offered me, has given me, has taught me, where would I be? Mm. And now, you know, I'm at a stage in my life where I, I can afford a little bit, mm-hmm. um, and it only takes a little bit. You know, you have your time, your talent, and your treasure. There you go. If you can't give what you want to give, then give your time. Mm. Give your talent. You come back. You assist. You volunteer. And then give your treasure. Mm. Because bricks around here, they just don't come up from state funds. Mm. Sometimes it does take a little additional. Absolutely. A little additional. Mm -hmm. And 5, 10, 15, it doesn't really matter because you have, you know, 20 people giving 5 and then you have one person giving 10. I mean, we're talking about, you know, in numbers and adding up, those things count. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So it, it really does. doesn't matter how much you give back, but you need to give back. Mm-hmm. Because other institutions, their alumni giving percentages are out the door. Right. That's and here at Norfolk State University, we need to, as a Spartan, we need to give back. Because mm-hmm. again, Norfolk State has given a lot to you. Because it has given a lot to me. Mm. And that's how I look at it as. Absolutely. That's why it's so important to give back. We're going through our second comprehensive capital campaign. And now is our, our time. Yeah. If you feel, you know, this is the urgency that we need you all listeners to go ahead and do. We need you to go to www.nsu.edu slash now is our time. Now is and our time. Give. Absolutely. And because give. the campaign is now. now. The urgency is now. now. The opportunity to make a change is now. now. And your time to give is what, y'all? Now. now. So, so I know you mentioned that you weren't necessarily the leader in these extracurricular organizations and everything. What were you involved in as far as any, you know, the band, you know, your sorority? Was there anything else? Um, I did a lot of some things with the SGA, just volunteering. Mm -hmm. Um, And again, that just afforded me the opportunity to see other sides of Norfolk State versus just the front line of being the band or being in a D9 organization. Um, It just caused me to meet different people, um, travel some um, with various programs and things that they had and and, um, things like that. So just the SGA. Okay. Did some yeah. volunteering there. Um, student support services. Okay. Um, did some, I was a member of that organization as well. And so that, student support services actually on a lot of various trips. So that really opened my eyes to places that I wouldn't have ordinarily went on my own. So mm-hmm. just being a part of that program, we traveled a lot and did a lot of community service and that just okay. cultivated me to want to do more and to help. And that's why I'm in the field that I am now right. in public service. So were there any specific professionals Professors or mentors at NSU who played a pivotal role in your journey? Well, in the psychology department, Dr. William Colson. Colson. Mm-hmm. Um, I was not a psychology major. However, I was able to, I took all of his classes, and one day he came to me and said, Ms. Taylor, I see that you're not a psychology major, but you've taken all of my classes. So at that point, I had to minor in psychology. Mm. But for him, he was just such an intriguing person to me. Um, He was also a member of um, Omega Sapphire Fraternity Incorporated as well. But I I mean, I'm just saying. Um, (laughs) But he had a lot of uh, lineage in uh, Virginia State where there's a... Actually, there's a building named after, I believe it's his, one of his family, I think it's his father. I'm not really sure, mm. but there is a, mem- a building named after um, his family. But he was just a very intriguing person to me um, that just actually just got me interested in mental health and interested in just psychology and just mm-hmm. working for people. So I would just say wow. Dr. Colson. And then also Alzie Francis Walker was my band director at the time. Hmm. Again, he actually taught me, he taught all of us just how to be ourselves and also be a leader. Hmm. Um, Because, again, you have to still go back to the band because coming here in August prior to, excuse me, it was like June or July prior to school starting. Back a couple more (laughs) Right, right. We have band camp. So, you know, we came in as young boys and girls, but by the time August hit, we were young men and women. Um, Believe that. 
Mm-hmm. Time management was was it was a big thing. Um, again, dotting your I's and crossing your T's was a given. Yeah, not an option. You just had to do what you had to do. And then once you finished band camp and you were in the classroom, you were still a leader in that classroom because again, we were part of the biggest entity here mm-hmm. on campus. So. Right. I guess it's a fact we were leaders. We didn't know we were leaders. Yeah, yeah potential. Mm-hmm. Right, because, yeah. you know, you have 200 and so brothers and sisters that if you walk around the corner and, and somebody, you know, just wanted some, how the young folks say, some smoke going on, then, you know, you turned around, you had somebody you know is going to have your oh, back. Okay, because Spartan Guards. Right, right. All, 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 all the way, all the way. <laughs> but, yeah, hey, listen. So... It's, it's just, you know, a lot of people always say, you always talk about the band. It's always the band, the band, the band. But, again, if you know, you know. You People have to understand it's just not about playing music. Right. I mean, it's about a family. I mean, we, we were a family. We taught each other how to, you know, time management. Mm. Um, we, we could, we could five dollars went a long way. And one combo meal went a long way. It Especially fed at least three then. people. You had half the fries. I had half the sandwich. We split the drink. So <laughs> we were able to just just make it do what it do with what we had. So when you know school came and school time came and all the other students came back, we were tight. Mm-hmm. And you couldn't break that bond, even to this day. I mean, you know what else? Because let me just ask you. So, Because we had real band camp camp. Okay. So how long was your band camp? Because I know, it, I, I believe it was like almost three and a half weeks. Ooh. I said, oh, mama, you dropping me off Ooh. a month before Yeah, it was about a month. What was to do? And again, back in the day, we had combat boots. So on, it, was, it wasn't that, you know, I had Air Maxes at band camp. I know we had combat boots, and my parents had to go get from a and N. You know, the Army and Navy the store. The Army and Navy store. Right, right, right. <laughs> and so, and. Uh, it, we had black boots, so can't imagine you marching in, in combat boots. Mm. Your, your your 90s were like 95s. Yeah. I mean, your kicks was to your ear yeah. by the time you know you put on your dancing shoes. So it, it just trained us in a way that you know used like to be lot other. lot 13. I think it's three now. Mm. But it was 13 mm-hmm. back in my day. And it was when you talking about, oh, you talking to, oh, you got to hit that, hit that, not trap, hit them laps. Mm-hmm. So when you running, mm-hmm. yeah. you run to the tail, you come on in. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. And, so that's why I got and, so Right, right, right. Because real big. Because yeah. if, if the you. Three weeks. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here we go. <laughs> but if you miss dinner, <laughs> you know, if you didn't get that music, you know, perfected by dinner time, then. We gonna borrow some of oodles and noodles, and we we splitting that up because and we miss dinner. We miss dinner, and we gonna have we gonna miss dinner to have right. what personal right. pride. Because right. when you come back, right, 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 that for part. the evening session, that part. Oh, you I'm tight, you, you tight it in the rug, you wow. tight it in the rug. There you go. Oh, so yeah. see, it was all about being in the Chevette with six people deep. We going up to get something to eat to come back, <laughs> right? Because so. one thing we gonna do is get it down packed, right? Mm. The show has to be tight. The dedication. The show has to be tight because if it's not, you gotta think about it. You know when you all. See the show on Saturday. By the time we finished getting off the field, you know, we didn't have the internet back then. Phone calls being made. Well, what happened on this? What happened on that? I saw somebody didn't do something on that. So we had to make sure the show was tight mm-hmm. before we hit form and field. And I think that's just the amazing thing about the overall culture here at Norfolk State. Whether you was in the Mighty March and Spartan Legion band or you was in Denima's full time because that was mm-hmm. also full time. Right. They had, I mean, it, it, it full time. Right. Work. It was full right. time. Or or if you was a RA in housing. I know at one point they used to be having so much fun. I'm like, maybe I need to go oh, be a RA. I've so it didn't matter what organization or group that you were a part of. It was structure. Mm-hmm. It was Absolutely. discipline. Absolutely. It was genuine love and the belief mm-hmm. that you and the group could succeed. And Absolutely. that's where the support comes Absolutely. from. So I will always be grateful and thankful to have attended not only Norfolk State University, but an HBCU because pride and culture matters. And that's why we need to give now. Absolutely. We need to make sure we protect that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because, you know, it's funny that you say that because I was also um, a member of the um, Spartan Battalion. Mm -hmm. I was an ROTC. Um, And and then, you know, I I did not complete the program. Um, However, I went up to my third year and then life happened. Mm -hmm. And um, but again, with that, you know, the camaraderie with the cadets there, some of them I still have friendship with to this day, even though they're retired. And so they've completed all they had to do for the army but again uh, mm-hmm. with myself you know it was just something that the friendships the life lessons you will never ever forget mm-hmm. and so when you come back for homecoming a lot of times those things they resonate and you be like you like today I walked over here and I, and I had to stop for a minute and I was like wow 
when I was 18 years old, I walked this path. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, and I'm proud to say I was, I'm 50 years old and I'm walking this path and I'm still here in my right mind. Mm-hmm. 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 And that means a lot to me. It should, because you're 50 and fine. Right. I well, wouldn't thank even you. throw that on over right. there. Right. Listen. Listen. You're going to see some proof on that 50. I oh, don't believe okay. it out Baby. I'm going to have to ask you Baby. what was your meal during rapid fire, because that mm. needs to be a, you need to share that recipe. Mm. Whatever you, hey, whatever live, you're live, you got to Live, live right. Keep what you up. put in your body, you get out. Yeah. So you have to think about that. Right. So we talked about a lot when the past and the present. Well, currently, what are you doing? Um, I know that you're involved with the Alumni Association. Yes. Um, Currently, I am the homecoming chairperson for this Mm -hmm. year. Um, I've served on the homecoming committee for well over 10 years, Mm -hmm. almost 15, I think it is. But for the past three years, um, I've been able to be, I'm charged with being the homecoming chairperson. And I have a great team of folks in my committee that we have locked down a phenomenal homecoming weekend this year. I mean, this is something that we've never done before. We've never had an artist. Mm. We actually have the legendary DJ Cool. <laughs> Let me clear my, my throat, throat. Okay. DJ Cool, okay? <laughs> For those who don't know who he is. Um, we are at the Marriott again this year. We have okay. the first floor, which is big. Yeah. We've never had the first floor before. And we have the entire first floor. So that when you're walking down Main Street, that big bay window, you're going to see NSUAA strolling across that. I mean, that sidewalk is it's going to mm-hmm. do something to the people. Mm-hmm. And uh, we again, we have our big party this year. We, we, we've, we've listened um, to what a lot of Spartans had to say and shifted just a little bit. Mm-hmm. Now we have our main event um, on, Friday. on Friday. But we start off on Thursday with crowning of Mr. Alumni and Mr. Greg Grimes. He's Mr. Alumni for 2024-2025. Um, that crowning is Thursday. And then Friday night is our main event with mm-hmm. DJ Cool. Um, again, which is $60. We still have tickets on sale. Um, you can get them at the ticket center. And then on Friday, you know, after, excuse me, Saturday after the game, everyone is always tired after the game. <laughs> so we were listening. <laughs> you know, we got, we got the kickback. And with the kickback, you know, you just hey, like to say in church, come as you are mm-hmm. you know, after mm-hmm. the game. You know, if you want to come in your green and go attire, if you want to go and, and, and freshen up just a tad, mm-hmm. then you come on back. And both events are from 9 to 1 at the Waterside Marriott um, in Norfolk. And then on Sunday, mm-hmm. on Sunday, we got we to do, we got to bring it on up. home. Mm-hmm. We got to get it on up by 9 o'clock. Um, and we have our worship service. And that event is free. $60 on Friday, $25 on Saturday, and then the event on Sunday is free. And think about this. I like to tell everyone, mm-hmm. when you're attending an NSU AA event, you know that you know that you know after all of our bills are paid, our money comes back to the university. Mm-hmm. So, you you know, we have a lot of people around homecoming that love to exploit the name of Norfolk State University. We're having a homecoming party, but we don't know where that money is going. Mm-hmm. But when you attend an NSU AA event, which is a Norfolk State University Alumni Association event, mm-hmm. you know that after right. all of our invoices are stamp paid, a hundred percent of that money comes back to our students. That's and if you were at one of the uh, games this year, you saw that check for five hundred twenty-three thousand mm-hmm. dollars that was presented to the university on the behalf of the alumni association. These are the type of things that we do. Mm-hmm. We do a lot of things in the community. We bring students here. We have some chapters that have buses to come, mm-hmm. you know, from um, Northern Virginia, the D.C. Mm-hmm. area. They bring the students here, and some of those students actually become students, and some of them graduate. So it's like. What more can you say? Right. Your time, your talent, and your treasure, all that resonates in what we do in the organization. So if you're not a part of us, you need to be. We accept you. If you have uh, 16, hour, 16 credit hours, you can become a member. Um, family and friends, you can also, you know, always dedicate okay. your time, your, your time, your talent, your treasure. That it right. doesn't matter. If you know someone that's a Spartan, come on. That is if you are a Spartan, come on. If you want to be a Spartan, come on. So what else is left? Yeah. What else is left? Awesome. That is amazing. What else is left? I, we did, and I thank you for know. educating us because I, I didn't know that right. you could, after the 16 credits, yeah. right, you can go, come on and join. Right. So, you know, so I love definitely. to learn and I will definitely share. Um, yeah. Thank you for taking that position and oh, well, turning it into gold. Someone mm-hmm. has to do it. Um, and again, I have a great team behind me. We're not, we, you know, it's like we can't get to enjoy a homecoming like you get to enjoy a homecoming. Mm-hmm. We want to make sure everything is right for you when you come back home. Right. But that's what, that's what we do. That, yeah. That's our time. 
<laughs> and that's our talent. <laughs> and we give back with our treasure. So what else? Right. Triple T. That's Triple that's T. really important yeah. for a lot of the other, you know, groups and everything who promote their events and everything like mm-hmm. that. But do they put in anything to right. the university, especially this year? Yeah, you know, absolutely. I think it's important for us to just encourage that type of thing going on. Absolutely. Have people involved with these groups to be involved with the alumni association. So it's a whole connection. Mm-hmm. Imagine the potential. Oh, imagine if everyone came and joined, how mm-hmm. big and massive we would be. Right. We would be bigger than the other school that's not too far from here. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we won't so, mention it. Right, right. We won't. We won't. But again, just imagine. Imagine. Just imagine that. What advice would you give to current students looking to make the most out of their time at Norfolk State University? Because I do have a Spartan that's here. He's a freshman. Time management. Ooh. Time management. <laughs> that's a trick. Um, listen to that voice. Mm-hmm. That voice is going to tell you. That mama voice, that auntie voice, that dad, whomever that voice is, listen to that voice. Mm-hmm. Because there's going to be other entities that are going to be pulling you in directions that you know you need not go in. Mm. Listen to that voice and know after four years, if you have to do your plus one makes it five, it doesn't matter right. that you're going to walk across that stage. Believe that you can walk across that stage. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Believe that you can do it. And it's okay to ask for help. If you're not feeling mm-hmm. your best, there are programs here on campus that can help you. Mm-hmm. Multiple. Multiple programs that can help mm-hmm. you. Don't suffer in silence. Talk about it. It's okay. It's okay to talk about your feelings Mm -hmm. because at the end of the day, you have to live with you. You know what I'm saying? So, again, number one is time management. Listen to that voice. Everyone everyone that says that they're your friend is not always your friend. Mm -hmm. Because if they're going to encourage you, hey, man, or hey, you know, let's not do this, let's not study, that's not your friend. I'm going to encourage, as my friend, as you're being my friend, I'm going to encourage you, no, we need to study. Because you may be lacking in English, and I may be an English major. (laughs) I can help you. (laughs) I may need some help with statistics, and you rock in statistics. We got to help each other. There you go. Knowing that helping each other, it's, it's okay. Because, again, when I win, you win. Because we're going to walk together. We came in here together, we're going to leave together. We're going to walk across that stage and make somebody proud, especially Miss Taylor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And when yeah. you walk across that stage and get that what conferred That's right. degree. That's right. Absolutely. Can't nobody take that from you. Mm-hmm. Nobody. 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 Remember. And then after you finish, mm-hmm. you're going to become a part of the Alumni Association for one year that is free. Mm-hmm. And then after that, you can join your local chapter, wherever you want to join, wherever. We have 26. Come on, 26. And then you give back. You reach down to pull up another Spartan mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because someone had to help you. Oh, I love it. Well, we thank you. You know, no, we thank you. No, thank you. you. We absolutely cannot let you go without doing our rapid fire. Okay. Oh, okay. So we're I'm scared. Go, oh. Just a couple of okay. quick questions. Okay. The first answer that okay. comes to your mind, I want you to speak from your heart. Okay. All righty. Mm, take a deep breath. I actually. <laughs> mm, I'm scared. Yo, we're going to have a lot scared. of fun. Is Woo. the mic on? Is the Uh-oh. mic on? It's okay. On. <laughs> we need to light the match for the rapid fire. <laughs> you know. All right. All right. So I'm just going to go down the list. And okay. What year did you graduate from NSU? 1998. And then I came back to complete my master's in 2001. Okay. Because I was going to say, you got to tell us both times. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and what was your major? I, I started as, as a nursing major um, in the ROCC department. And again, as I stated, life happened. Mm-hmm. So then I just completed with the inter- interdisciplinary studies mm-hmm. with a uh, minor in psychology, social work, psychology, social work, and sociology. Okay, so you just did health on a, on a, on a mental health side. Right, abso- absolutely. Full circle. Absolutely, full circle. And then my master's was in um, urban education guidance and counseling. And what you're still doing today. I'm still doing that today in the tender age. Mm, the love, tender age. I'm still doing that today. What was one of your best homecoming memories or best homecoming? My best homecoming, I would say it's my first. Because, again, um, seeing it and then actually being there, is being involved, is two totally different things. Mm-hmm. Um, and that was back in 1993. Mm-hmm. I'm every woman, jam, war. Mm. Oh, yeah. I can oh, still man. remember my routine. Good class. Yes, yeah. I can still oh. remember my routine. I mean, I can break it down for you now, but I, I don't have I don't have my heels on. <laughs> um, but that was my most memorable homecoming. And the first time completing the tunnel when you have a crowd of people around you. 
Ooh. Number the very first. I still remember the very first time. I still remember my uniform. I still. I mean, I still, I still remember the, what we did. It just. I, what color was the uniform? My ours was white mm. and gold. Come on. We had the gold shimmies on the shoulder, and then the sequence around. So we only had one uniform back then. We didn't change <laughs> every every ten twenty minutes. Mm. But um, a bunch of was right, 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 right. We can go back. It's right, okay. Right. We, we had one <laughs> uniform the entire season, and then mm. one year we did have an alternate uniform because we were doing um, the, the Michael Jackson. Um, Remember the time, so mm-hmm. that was. But yeah, that's. It. Yeah. Girl, you done took me back. I'm about to do. A, I'm about to do a dolphin right now. Come on, dolphin. Mm-hmm. I'm about to do a dolphin. What NSU event could you never miss if you had to pick one? Which one? You like? Oh, uh, uh-uh, uh. I got to put my time in. I got to. <laughs> I would say well, you got a couple because you I had like, a couple because it would be homecoming. I just you know I can't miss homecoming. Um, the start of the basketball season. Because, you know, when you in the band, you had to be outside. So I'm really not a, you know, really don't love the outdoors. But I would say the start of basketball season. Okay. Start of basketball season. And overall homecoming. Because it's no but place yeah, like yeah, home. Yeah, no place like home. That was last year's theme. And it's I not. I will always play the wind. It's not. Absolutely. Three times. Three times. Three, three, time. <laughs> three times. There you go. So also, too, it just, just, just hit me. One thing that I, that I will probably, when I leave here, it'll be in the back of my mind. As the, my, Again, the Spartan Legion. We played the opening for Sweet Pea Whitaker at at the Norfolk Scope, and that was on HBO. So can you imagine wow. my my mama saying, "I saw my baby on TV. She was on cable." But <laughs> that was something that mm-hmm. we always we we, we remember this, we remember everything about it. When we opened up the tunnel, and then Sweet Pea came through the middle and went. Through, I mean, it was just amazing. You saw the the guy from H- and and then starting. It was just everything you remember that you see on TV that we were actually there to see that and witness that. So that's something that will always be resonating, always be in the back of my mind. There. And so my next question for you, if okay. you could describe an issue in one word, what would it be? Breathtaking. Ooh, Ooh that's a good one. Yeah. Breathtaking. Mm. What's your favorite an issue tradition? I would just say when we, when you say behold and then your call and response would be the, the green, green and, and go. Oh. Because if you know, you know. When you're saying it like I say it, it is what it I is. I get that. What is your NSU model in your own words? Let's get the job done. Mm. Let's get the job done. Let's get it done. Yeah. Well, uh-huh. you heard it correct. You heard mm. it here, and you heard it. Yes. I made it through. I made let's it through. Get made the it job let's get the done. job done. She made it through. You made it through. So we. let's get the and job done. And we can done. make it through together. And we can make together. it through, too. Absolutely. Yes. Stronger together. Absolutely. So we're going to build Brick City. That's right. Stronger together. Stronger together. So go ahead. Give now. Call. Text. Go on our website. We are here. We look forward to seeing all the who, all of those who will be coming to the land of Sparta and homecoming. Make sure you come see us under our campaign tent. We will be on the yard. We will be around. Come see all of the updates and upgrades. And most of all, come give. You have been updated by your dynamic duo and Miss Taylor. And today, we want to thank you for tuning in to Spartans. On the clock. On the clock. And as always... Behold the the green green and gold. Learn more about how you can give at nsu.edu slash now is our time.